Chapter 2 The Preparation of You, the Teacher Before you work with your students, you must first prepare yourself. Step 1. Dress the part. You are a professional. Dress like it. I don't mean you have to put on a suit and tie, but wear good clothes. Avoid overt tattoos, earrings, nose rings, or anything that makes you look less of a professional. Rule of thumb. If you wouldn't wear it in front of their parents or your principal, then don't bother wearing it at all. Many newer teachers might be tempted to try to dress more like their students in an attempt to make friends with them, but by and large they need a leader, an instructor, and a good example much more than they need an adult friend. Also, clothes help form your image and remind your students of your elevated responsibility in the classroom. Here's an example. Imagine going to see your doctor, and he greets you wearing a bandana, a Metallica shirt, and ripped jeans. Think you'd believe what he told you? I'm not sure I would. Step 2. Sound the part. Speak clearly, concisely, in proper language at a level that your students can easily understand. The first thing I had to learn was to slow down my speech. I spoke too fast and I did not give kids a second to process what I had just said. Therefore, they remembered less. I also learned that using giant words might make me sound smart, but it does nothing if my students could not understand me. While you do not want to talk to your kids like they're two-year-olds, the KISS rule is important. What's the KISS rule? Keep it simple, stupid. Step 3. Lead by example. Want a respectful class? give respect. Want honesty? Demonstrate it. Want a student to admit a mistake? Admit yours. Want a serious room? Be serious. Want a fun room? Be fun, as appropriate. Want the class to care? Care for them. Step 4. Confidence is king. Your students, like any other people, respond well to folks who seem to know what they're doing. Make sure when you make a lesson plan or any activity that you know what you want to do forwards and backwards every step of the way. Speak with confidence and clarity. Allow the students to see you as a constructive leader, one full of confidence and full of decision making. This will go a long way in helping your activities go well.